Well, hello everyone. Good evening. This is Hillary, the Marketing Mom, and I am doing a very quick review here of the marketing calendar. Now, if you're watching this video inside of my blog post, congratulations, you've gotten really far in the blog post. Um, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, well, then you're in for a little treat because this is not the first time that I have done a review of course schedule but every year i find new features and i really wanted to share with you some additional things now fundamentally i started using course schedule for their social media calendar that's when i started using it i don't know how many years ago um and it has worked well in terms of social media planning and one of the things that i did highlight inside of my blog post was this amazing feature that i very quickly came over came across which is called req all right so one of the things that i love about co-schedule is that you've got your calendar in front of you all right you have your entire calendar view in front of you and you can decide what you want to be shown on your calendar like what view you want to see on your calendar so sometimes you just want to see your marketing mom blog all right which there are no blogs there Ooh. or sometimes you just want to see one website blog so right now you see that okay i've published a couple blog posts in the last couple weeks that's because i'm in a blog challenge all right but you notice if i filter on that not a lot of content being published on the website so we've got work to do on that but that's what i love about it that you could see at a glance what's being done what's not being done and then you could go over to your social channels now definitely the social channels are probably more active i want to draw your attention to the ones in green okay now the ones in green are what co-schedule the marketing calendar by co-schedule refers to as req now, what is ReQ? Everybody is always asking me what ReQ is, and I honestly believe that if the only thing CoSchedule had was ReQ, I would still have ReQ, because you would see that at least once a week, I've got ReQ, at least once a week, I've got ReQ. There have been times when ReQ was on my calendar, like, you know, every day. That was the only thing anybody was seeing on ReQ. And what is ReQ? So ReQ over here is basically your older posts that you've done, scheduled or posted or published that you put into different what we call content buckets. All right. So right now I've got a few messages here that I've already posted out that could have, maybe I don't want them in there. Maybe I do. All right. What I like about ReQ is that if you are a blogger, or if you are doing like if you're a solopreneur marketer you can actually create different buckets of content that's going to be evergreen content that it doesn't really matter when it goes out now i wouldn't for example put thanksgiving post in req or christmas post in req because they will eventually come out at a time when it's not thanksgiving and not christmas and you don't want that okay but basically you create groups so you create groups based on you know maybe your offers your promotions blog posts different types of blog posts different types of image images different types of status update you create those different groups and then you're able to actually set the you're actually able to set the frequency all right so when you go into your actual settings you're able to decide okay how often do you want req now what req is is basically pulling content and publishing content on your behalf if you don't have anything scheduled to publish. So my ReQ is always on to begin with. And two, you could set the time frame. So one of those time frames that you know you want content to go out regardless. And then you also set how many you want to go out. Now what this does is actually this says you're sending up to four messages on this channel, for example. So if you've already scheduled four messages, no ReQ is going to go out on that day. This one is up to four messages as well. Some others you want to, maybe depending on the channel, you don't want that much content going out. Okay, so then that's how ReQ kind of works. I hope I've explained that well. If you've got any questions, you could always hit me up because it's a really fantastic tool. So I want to get back over to our calendar here. All right. And another thing that I talked about in my... Um, in my blog post was not just the requeue function for social media but 
yes it does schedule social media so you can schedule in many different ways I usually just come to the date and I click the plus sign right um, you notice that right now at the recording of this video I'm in December and I'm out in January right now 2022 and you can see that I have content already scheduled out there and it's color coded so that tells me it's a blog post because of the colors I know it's a blog post how do I know it's a blog post because I created what Reiki what co-schedule calls a social campaign so if you click on this basically what it pulls up is a blog post and this is the project right that's a blog post it's a project and all the way down here I've created what's called a social campaign now the social campaign is basically a schedule of when this blog post is going to be shared on your different social media channels now why is this important because we've got a lot of bloggers out there we've got a lot of content out there and very often you spend hours blogging and creating your blog and making sure it's SEO and all of these fantastic things and then you forget to share it and nobody knows this is what Coast Schedule's social campaign allows you to do it helps you remember yes this is what you want to do you want to publish it onto your social channels and you could always come back in here and create another one or set one to go at a certain time all right so this is what I love about the the social campaign all right the next thing and this is with your projects the next thing that you will realize is this is connected to my WordPress blog you can actually click here to view the post or you can actually click to go and edit it so once you have the plugin attached to your blog you are actually able to set this in your blog post and I'm going to show you it right now okay so in my blog post and yes you see the million and one tabs that I have in this blog post that you are probably reading right now that isn't finished as the recording if I scroll into my WordPress I'm gonna see the co-schedule marketing plugin right here I could set this to requeue go to my calendar in co-schedule and I could also set my social campaign right there inside of my WordPress editor isn't that fantastic so before you even finish writing the blog post you could already have set up when you're going to be sharing this now the other features that I want to talk about here inside of and this is getting a little long but no worries you're gonna lock your schedule when you're done here is the different views all right so I love the different views and basically I've customized it okay so I can do all and let's go back to you know current time I think I got a filter let me just right good so we're we're back in current time and you'd also see a lot of reQ there so I talked about your reQ all right and then you have all your other social posts okay now you could share as much social content as you want you could schedule it for the best time and how you do that is you could either come over here by the create and it would ask you whether you want to create a social post a WordPress project and when you do social again there's a social campaign and the social message so a lot of people do the social message because they're doing it day by day others who are doing like affiliate launches or blog post launches they they will do social campaigns and social campaigns work really well especially if it's a campaign that you're going to probably be relaunching maybe every quarter or anything like that and this is just the calendar for social media and the blog post this is what I primarily use it for reQ as well okay so I wanted to really touch on a lot of these features so when you go in here and you click on the social profile the social message this is basically what it looks like you put, come and you put in your your update there you choose your channel and then you can schedule usually I would put it for best time but what's lovely about it is that if you're putting this like a day in advance they've got these options where you can get like a range all right so you want it between this time and that time and guess what if you're like a social media manager planning this stuff out for somebody else to review you could set up your whole week and instead of scheduling you can put pending review or put it in draft and guess what they come in there they review it and then they can switch it to published which will then eventually schedule it so this is what I really love about the social message now just getting into the social campaign so that you can see what it looks like 
basically it's a project so let's say we're going to do xyz affiliate launch okay I'm just gonna put that as an example all right um we don't need to add any descriptions it's a social campaign and then we're going to create the project and then here is where you are going to create the different things that are going to happen right on each on each channel now there are these cute little things called social helpers all right now i remember creating right yes i did create one prior a long time ago so this was a social campaign where i was doing something for for work from home moms okay so you could create little templates in there let me just x out of it all right uh, scroll yeah. right so this was a social campaign that i had created for a specific theme and specific design all right and it literally went to put a, a certain type of blog and this is something that basically you can republish after it's already been created. So I could say, okay, I want to start this on January 4th. And this social campaign will literally go out for all the channels at these dates, right? So 20 days after, after publish, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So this is, I, I love this feature more for promotions, all right? Um, more for promotions and those type of things rather than just your social media. Ah, finish applying. Let me just exit. Okay. So, and then um, that was the, the social campaign, right? And I just wanted to come back out of there because although the video above talks about the different things that you could pull in, so I just wanted to focus really on your calendar the social campaigns that you could create, the projects that you could create, the WordPress that you could create. All right. That's what I've used it for primarily social media, blog, blog syndication and campaign um, execution, social campaign execution. So I hope you loved um, going through this, this very quick 12 minute video on what you could do with the marketing calendar and co schedule and any feedback any thoughts any comments please leave them below in the comments below and do share 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 because this is a wonderful tool for social media managers and i haven't even gotten into all the analytics and all the data and all of those other fantastic things that you could use because time just would not permit all right so have a great day again this is Hillary the marketing mom and do go and check out co schedule the um my link to to see more about what they're about is inside of the description of this video. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.